All right, guys, I am going to give you some very, very helpful information <clears throat> on how to do the IMA, AMA, and percent efficiency for the screw problems, okay? So this is the first screw, and you can see this is the screw right here in the middle getting turned by a wrench, okay? And the key information that you need to know for this is your effort is where the hand is turning the wrench around. That's your effort. And the other key information is that every time you turn this around one full turn, okay, so in other words, you take this and you start it and you start going in the circle here, you'll notice that it is a circular shape. Okay, <clears throat> when this goes around one full turn, the screw moves up one, the distance between two of the threads. Okay, so <clears throat> that's important information because that's comparing your effort distance to your load distance. When your effort goes one full turn, your load moves up the distance between two threads. This is a common designation for a screw. Every kind of screw has its own designation. The information that you're looking for is the second number. Okay, the second number tells you the threads per inch, also abbreviated TPI. Okay, so this information right here, threads per inch. So on this screw, you have a threads per inch of eight. Okay, eight threads per inch. What does that mean? Well, that means that <clears throat> that there are eight threads for every inch, okay, for that screw. So, oops, I'm going the wrong way here. So like for this here, if this is one inch measured, there would be eight threads, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight threads in that one inch, okay? When we're calculating, <clears throat> When we are calculating the IMA, we are going to divide the circumference by the pitch. And pitch is the distance between two of the threads. Okay, So we need to know the circumference and the pitch. The circumference is calculated by multiplying 2 times the radius of the circle times pi. 2 times pi times the radius of the circle. Okay. We're going to use the length of the wrench as the radius of the circle because when you grab onto the wrench right here and you turn it around, and again, this is not going to be a very good circle, but if you were to turn this thing around, you would see that it makes a circle. Okay, so the effort goes the distance of the circumference of the circle, and that's what you need to know. So that's our effort distance. In this case, um, you have a screw that has a threads per inch of 8. So when you calculate the pitch, okay, when you calculate the pitch, we are going to say 1 divided by 8. Okay, the distance moved by the load for one rotation of the screw, okay, that's the distance, that's the distance of the load, okay. <clears throat> So when you move the when you move this wrench one full turn, this the load moves one divided by the threads per inch. One in this case divided by eight. Okay, that's the that's the distance that the load moves, and that's what you can use for that answer. Okay, so <clears throat> how far do you move? How far do you move the, the distance? How far does this turn? Well, you have to estimate to the nearest quarter of an inch in order to get this. Remember, we're going to count this as the radius from here, oops, from here to the end here, okay, is the length of the wrench, and that will we will consider that the radius of the circle, okay? So this would be the measurement of the of the length of the wrench. And then the effort distance is 2 times times pi. 
And if you guys are using, if you're using the decimals calculator, which you should be using decimals calculator, just punch in pi times, in this case, whatever your radius is, looks like it's going to be 8.5. 8.5. Five. And sorry about this, I'm just using my cursor to give you an information. That's going to be the effort distance. IMA equals your distance of your effort, number five, divided by your distance of your resistance, okay, which is number, th number three. Okay, the distance of the load is the same as the distance of resistance. Your forces that you have here, the force of the load is the same force as you've used for every one of the problems. It's the mass of this load down here plus the harness and the rope. Okay, it's the same number as the lever A and that I showed you and lever B and everything else. Okay, estimate the effort force to the nearest half a pound. Okay, look at your number. There's your effort force right there. And it's sticking right pretty close to the same number, 12 point something. And you can calculate your AMA by dividing your force of your resistance or load, force of load, divided by your force of your effort. And then efficiency is AMA divided by IMA times 100. Again, pay attention to the correct number of rounding, tenths, hundredths, or thousands. The same way that you, you did this problem, you would do this problem here. The only difference is you've got You've got a different threads per inch to be one divided by 13 for the threads per inch down here. That's number two. And then you will have a difference in the radius of the circle. Okay. Because we have a different wrench. So we're going from here and we're measuring to the end of the wrench again, right here. Okay, and it tells you to measure the nearest quarter of an inch. So read that number off, and that's going to give you the right, the right length. And then you have, of course, a different force of the load, or excuse me, effort force here. This is your effort force. So good luck on those. If you have questions, please feel free to write me an email, come into a Google Meet, and you got this. You can do it.